Share the love. Capturing small market share thoughts SNA. We are the group one. Mu Emirates has been creating popularity in Thailand for the past year and continue to grow. The market focuses on generate that aim to increase the buyer luck in various aspects. In this present station, we will discuss using social network analysis to increase more market share of a company. This study aims to improve our market share and expand our customer base in the more Emirates business. Through social media analysis and strategy information through social network. Pass one. The research from graduate student of the marketing department at Mahidon University concluded that many 52 million Thai people believe in Mu due to various current uncertainty that affects their life. 60 to 70 percent results from uncertainty over social disparity and devices, higher living costs, forensic impact in daily life, and people fear of adapting to technology. 70 to 80 percent from the environment such as PM 2.5 and waste in various cities, including the problem from the COVID-19 pandemic. According to this research, People are interested in lucky numbers, paranormal story, lucky colors, astrology, and more amorous. Part two point one. We are interested in studying more amorous, focusing on love, wealth, career, and health. These are all assumptions about network graphs. Number one. Users are friends. Some have more friends than others. 2. Users can interact with posts but didn't like the page. 3. Pages can like other pages posts. 4. Pages can like other pages. 5. Pages produce posts. 6. Data collected include the last 3 months of social interaction in social media. Okay, so based on the assumption that uh, my friends were mentioned earlier, I want to share the network represents the interaction between various pages and users in our social media network. As you can see, we have different types of nodes in our network, including our brand page like Laila Facebook page and her competitor pages, including Lavipa, Herman Stone and Maran, influencer pages, and also regular Facebook users. Here we also capture four types of relationship. First, we have interaction, which is a brand page and influencers and user engaging through actions like liking, sharing or commenting on the post. Then we have follow, which represent the connection between user and brand pages or influencer pages. The third is produce, which showcase the relationship between brand and influencer pages and the posts that they create. Finally, we have undirected relationship with his uh, friends, which uh, shows the connection between users himself. Okay, now let's uh, focus on our Laila, which is our brand page. It stands out with the second highest degree in the network, indicating the numerous directions. Um, however, her between and centrality is relatively low in simple terms. It uh, although um, she is popular and well connected, she may not be the critical um, information flows or the communication between different parts of the network. This could uh, impact the brand ability to spread the information, engaging users, and also have significant network wide influence. According to the market landscape that has been shown earlier, our group has come up with four major discoveries from the ground. First discovery was that posts which has content about love get more reaction than other type of content. As you can see from the table on the right, the content about love has higher degree ranges from 2 to 10. On second discovery, we found out that influencer tool can leverage the high degree, especially on love content. Most of influencer tool created posts is about love and it gets good reaction from his follower. The third discovery was on user 35. As you can see that user 35 has connection to a lot of other users, especially on user who has further distance, like user 8, user 12, or user 41, 
and the only available path to them is through user 35. So user 35 is very powerful and considered as a gatekeeper in this case. The last discovery was on our Lila Facebook page itself. We might have a lot of users following our page, but not so much reaction from them. Okay, so for part three, let's look into the market share strategies that we can use. We identified three major uh, moves and strategies that we can use. Number one is to be the love content broker, which is to focus on love centric uh, topics to attract and, in, and get interactions from users and in turn get more followers as well. Uh, number two is to gain more followers from influencer two, who is a very uh, key player in the love topic area. And number three is to expand our network using the gatekeeper, which is user 35. So let's see how this shows on the graph. This is the after implementation landscape. And let's go in and zoom in and see all these uh, details and moves that we've done and see how they impact the craft. Uh, so for action number one, which is to gain more followers uh, from influencer number two, who also post post 36, which is a sponsored post by us. By doing so, we have gained two, two followers, which is users uh, three and 12. And in turn, we can also increase the interaction between user 12 and Lila's page and perhaps steal the user from Ravi Pa's page as well. So this is how we have leveraged influencer number two um, uh, uh, presence in, in the landscape. Uh, the other actions that we have done is we have leveraged user 35 um, uh, connection and a network because uh, user 35 is a stronger tie now with Lila because of their love post, which is post 35. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, we have gained users uh, 19 and 10, which is increasing our market share. And uh, users 26 and 35 who used to only follow the page also starts to interact with us more as well. Next. Let's talk about how can we drive the market share after the implementation through improved degree and strategic between the centrality. Our action steps are simple but effective. First, we need to maintain and build on our degree improvement, ensuring our network connections continue to grow. Second, we should focus on boosting between the centrality by fostering direct interactions and connections. And finally, we need to enhance information sharing, facilitating knowledge exchange and collaboration. Now, let's see how these actions translate into market share for Lila. It all comes down to delivering the right content to the right people to influence the conversion funnel. In the awareness stage, having a high degree and a large number of connections is crucial to leverage this, we can launch marketing campaigns centered around love content, engaging with users, and amplifying our Lila message to reach more people. This increased brand awareness, uh, extracting new prospects, and increased visibility. Moving to the consideration stage, note with the high between and centrality play a significant role. The they uh, influence the flow information and shape opinions by spreading positive information, recommendations, and testimonials about Lila. We can build credibility and trust, swaying the decision-making process of potential customers. Finally, in the conversion stage, high degree notes hold value. Leveraging this we can collaborate with user number 35 and uh, influencer number two to spread promotional offers, discounts, and personalized recommendations within their networks. This will uh, increase the likelihood of conversion for Lila. And there you have it. By implementing these actions from social network analysis and understanding how they impact market share, we can try Lila's success. But remember, it's about delivering the right content, leveraging network connections, and influencing the conversion funnel. Thank you for watching. If you found this content value, 
uh, please share and leave your comments.